Hey Bison, welcome back to today's Bison broadcast. Hope you enjoy. Hey Bison, today is January, Friday the 13th. Today's high is 38 degrees, while today's low is 30 degrees. Bye Bison. Please pause for the moment of silence. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Hey Bison, today for lunch is grilled cheese and chili, chef salad, bread, peaches, apples, and grapes. Bye Bison, hope you have a good lunch. Hi Bison, for breakfast on Monday is... Wait a minute, there isn't school that day. Hey Bison, it's Lily here with your birthdays. Today we have Lainey Anderson, Davion Crusoe, James Drake Allen, McKin F Phoenix Gin Gingras, McKinley Jones Roberts, and Brandon Teague. Saturday's birthdays are Camden, Camden Grigg, and Isaac Mendez. Sunday's birthdays are Will Abrams. Come down and get your birthday pencil and happy birthday. Hi, Sid. I'm here to tell you the announcements for this week. First of all, the poor cards go home today. Second of all, no school Monday. Bye bye, son. See you next time. Neil here with your rec book recommendation. It is Prisoner B3087 by Alan Krebs. I'm going to read the back of it so you know kind of what it's about. Survive at any cost. Ten concentration camps, ten different places where, where you are beat, tortured, and worked mercilessly. It's something no one could imagine surviving, but it is what unique. Gruner had to face as a Jewish boy in 1930s Poland. Yannick is at the mercy of the Nazis who have taken over everything. He, ha he has and everyone he loves have been snatched brutally from him. And then Yannick himself is taken prisoner. His arm is marked B30 H7. He is forced from one nightmarish concentration camp to another. As World War II rages all around him, he, enter he encounters evil he could have never imagined. But he also sees surprising glimpses of hope amid the war. Can Unique make it through without losing his will to live? And most of all, his sense of who he really is inside. That's your book recommendation of the week. Bye, Bison. Here's Dr. Mason with the principal challenge. Good Bison. Hope you guys had a great break. We are so excited that our Bison broadcast is back. So your next principal's challenge. It's cold outside. It's getting colder. It's going to be cold for a while. Uh, but we want to make sure that our bodies are staying active. When our bodies are moving, our minds are working. So when you are in PE, make sure that you're participating, that you're getting some good exercise. Also, when you go outside for recess, uh, make sure you're getting that exercise. You're moving that body to move your brain. That's your principal's challenge. Stay active even when it's cold. Have a great week. Hey Bison, today's Pierce challenge is to be extra nice to your related arts teachers. Like for an example, remembering all your stuff to take to the library and being ready, respectful, and responsible in all your related arts classes. Bye Bison. Hey Bison, unfortunately the Jaguars beat the Titans 16 to 20, but at least the Lions beat the Packers. Bye Bison. Hi guys, I'm here with Miss Mitchell. I heard that, um, What's up there? We are working on a service project this month, and so we are collecting new stuffed animals. And we're going to donate all of these stuffed animals to our Sumner County EMS. When our EMS team sometimes come to a home, they're small children and they're often scared. And EMS members are able to give them a stuffed animal and sometimes calm their nerves. So. These are due on January 31st. There's going to be some bins or boxes downstairs as you enter the entryway, and you can place them in there. If you can, on a stuffed animal, place them in a bag, either a Kroger bag or a Ziploc bag. And we don't want stuffed animals that are like humongous. We just need like normal size stuffed animals. But remember, they have to be new. If you can put them in a bag, great. But if you can't, no worries. That's great. Um. Well, thank you for asking these questions. We hope to get a ton, and Sumner County EMS will be so excited. Thank y'all. Hey, did you know that the most sold item in IKEA stores was a bookshelf? Interesting.
interesting. Deal with no eyes. I don't know what. I got no idea. Bye, Bison. Hope you enjoyed today's Bison broadcast. Remember to be ready, respectful, and responsible.